people, um, it's been a while. I look different. The room looks different. It's been about five months, I think, since I last made a video. I mean, no, no one's watching these anyway, so I haven't really filmed anything since the end of summer last year because I kind of just ran out of things to do, things to film. Yeah, but well, I was going to say winter's supposed to be ending. But it just snowed again last night. I already filmed a clip, so I'll show you that. It snowed again last night, and I think it's still snowing, which sucks because I want the <laughs> I want the summer back so bad. As you can see, since I last filmed, my hair looks different. This is probably the nicest it's looked since I cut it that one time, which I showed you in my video. I cut it, and then after that, I bleached it, and then I hated that even more. So I dyed it red <laughs> around December. In December, I dyed it red. And um, I liked that in the beginning and then it faded to like a really pale, like orange pastel color and I hated it. And so I thought, hey, I'm not a child anymore. I don't want to dye my hair like bright colors. Not that it means you're a child if you do. It's just for me, that was like a teenage phase and I think I was trying to grasp onto my youth with dyeing my hair red and I mean it's not like I'm old I'm turning 23 next month it's, it's not old but I feel a lot more grown up with this hair colour I think I mean in certain lights you can still see like a line of red around here I really like it I think I look grown up I think I look nice my hair is growing it is getting longer I don't know if you can tell, you might be able to tell. Coming up a year since I finished university, which is blowing my mind. It feels like I finished uni yesterday. It was very weird. Um, but yeah, that also means it's coming up to a year of me moving to Latvia and also coming up to a year of me being married to my husband, which is just blowing my mind. I can't believe it's been a year, or will be a year already in um, June. And it's March now, it's March. 7th? Is that what this is? I can't really see the clock. March 7th. March, April, May, June. Three months. And then it will have been a year. I thought I would start filming videos again because I'm gonna... The, we're gonna start having work to do outside. I don't know, I feel like life's gonna get a bit more, bit more interesting. Like uh, the winter months here. This is the first winter I've ever experience in this country because I only used to visit in the summer and winters here are very extremely grey and dark and lifeless and although in the beginning the snow is exciting it gets boring real quick it gets very old and I'm very annoyed that it snowed again last night it's a very thin layer of snow but it's enough to piss me off <laughs> I'm just looking forward for that to leave because the past couple of days it's been green the sun has come out a couple days it's been melting like all the ice has been melting it's been warming up but overnight it really froze which sucks but it's gonna be okay because it's March and April is the next month and hopefully by the time it's my birthday it won't be freaking snowy <laughs> so this is our room now I haven't painted this bit yet because the wardrobe's in the way and it's very heavy. It's extremely heavy. Like, I can barely lift one of those doors. It's ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm out of breath. I just came up the stairs. This is how we're going. We have a shelf. It's very cute. We have done some furniture, some paintings that I've been doing. And a puzzle. <laughs> and a Skyrim map as opposed to it. It's supposed to be on the door, but it fell off. Um, yeah, this is what we're looking at. I guess another one of my paintings. It's all white beautiful we've got a spare bed kind of acts as like a sofa it's got my stuff from painting crocheting this is a little floor floor pillow um i painted all up here uh, this is the chimney that i had done in the summer but now we have little little shelves that yeah i need to do some better painting there because this one looks god awful. This yellow is disgusting. But yeah, 
Got some cute things there. Glass thing. We now moved, I don't know if I actually properly showed the room before, but we now have one shelf here and one there. Um, yeah, it's just this bit to go. This is a painting I started because of the round canvas, but I hate it, so I'm gonna restart it because <laughs> it looks awful, I hate it so much. Um, but yeah, shelf, incense, a bunch of cables, which is very annoying, but there's not much we can do about that. Cartis, oh, just got the zoomers. Me, hello. And yeah, another one of my paintings. So yeah, it's looking really good, but I'm supposed to do this today. But I have to move the water first. Um, I guess we'll see how that goes. I'll probably film me trying to struggle to do that. Struggle to do that. Okay, well, as you can see, I tried to move the wardrobe and <laughs> I seriously underestimated how heavy it is because my husband couldn't move it. And I mean, obviously, he, oh, I'm on a tripod and this isn't working. Like, he is stronger than me, obviously. He's bigger than me in, like, every way. But I'm still, I, I consider myself, like, a strong person. Like, especially a strong woman. I consider myself very strong. Well, very strong. I don't want to hype myself up too much, but... I would consider myself strong. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I would be able to slide it because the whole, my husband said, because the bottom is just like pieces of wood, like it's not legs, it's a long piece of wood, like, like it's flat at the bottom. You could just slide it across the floor. And he did it, he showed me, we already did it to like peel off the first layer of um, wallpaper that was up there on the wall. He pulled it back so we could take the wallpaper off and then pushed it back for the time being so the room wasn't completely terrifyingly messy and horrible to look at. And I thought I could move it. He said this morning before he left for work, does he want me to move it? Does he want to move it for me so that I can paint it today? And I was like, mm, no, I'm, I'm sure I can do it. I'm sure it'll be okay. And I guess I was just proved wrong. Here's Twilight in the background. I was gonna watch Twilight whilst I do my painting for the billionth time. Twilight's just a feel good movie for me. <laughs> the sun has come out a bit, which is nice. Um, that's about it. It started snowing again, which I think I'll show you either before or after the time lapse. But it starts snowing like big, big snowflakes. And now it's stopped again, like immediately, so the weather's all over the place, but the sun has come out, which is lovely. So I don't know. I guess this is the end of the video, because I was going to show me painting a tiny bit of wall, but I guess that's not happening. Who cares anyway, right? It's just a wall. <laughs> but if you did watch my video, thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know if it's interesting. It's not interesting when I watch it, I guess, but then I'm watching myself and that's kind of awkward for me. Maybe, kind of. But hey, if this reaches anyone, hi. I hope you're having a cool day. If you're not, then hopefully tomorrow will be cool, you know? Not every day is cool. Some days are very uncool. Um, but yeah, thanks. Give it a like, if people still do that. Anyway. <laughs>